Hello class, let us continue our discussion on the derivative of hyperbolic functions. So last time we have solved example number one and two. So this time let's solve uh, another example and let's start with example number three. So find the derivative of the function f of x equal to hyperbolic function of x plus two times the hyperbolic cosine of x minus the hyperbolic secant of x so our solution here our first step is to uh, copy the given function so we're given f of x equal to hyperbolic sine of x so this time class i will show you that it's okay no if you put uh, x inside the parentheses plus or you may opt to not put it inside the parentheses. Uh, plus uh, twice the hyperbolic cosine of x, then minus hyperbolic secant of x. Okay, and we have here different hyperbolic functions. So let us. Uh, recall the formula the formula that we have so for our first term we have uh, hyperbolic sine of x alright so uh, differentiating both sides so we have f prime of x equal to so we can take the derivative we have to take the derivative of all these terms with respect to x so derivative of hyperbolic sine of x plus twice the hyperbolic cosine of x minus hyperbolic secant of x so taking the derivative of all this so this time we will use the uh, sum and difference rule in differentiation in other words you can uh, take the derivative of each of the uh, term right so we can write this as f prime of x is equal to so the derivative of hyperbolic sine of x with respect to x so now we are applying the sum and difference rule plus so this is constant so you may put the constant outside and then take the derivative of the function hyperbolic function so the derivative of cosine hyperbolic function of x with respect to x then minus the derivative of hyperbolic secant of x with respect to x okay so you may put this also inside the parentheses okay or you may not it's okay and this time we will apply the uh, formula of the derivative of hyperbolic functions so we have sine no? from the formula we have the derivative of the hyperbolic sine of x uh, with respect to x so this is equal to hyperbolic cosine of x so as i mentioned you may put x inside the parentheses or you may not so that's okay so since our are given here uh, they're inside the parentheses so you may put this inside the parentheses so it's all right okay and we also have here cosine so the derivative of hyperbolic cosine of x with respect to x so this is equal to hyperbolic sine of x and we have secant so the formula for secant so the derivative of the hyperbolic secant of x with respect to x is equal to negative negative. 
So negative second or uh, hyperbolic second of x multiplied by hyperbolic tangent of x. Okay? So we'll just substitute uh, the, this uh, equivalent to our uh, function that is uh, we are differentiating now. So for the first term, derivative of hyperbolic sine of x, so this is equal to cosine or hyperbolic cosine of x. So hyperbolic cosine of x. Okay, so this is the uh, equivalent of this uh, derivative of hyperbolic sine of x. So this is equal to this one. Then plus twice, no? twice. So two times, so the, the result of this. So derivative of cosine hyperbolic function of x or hyperbolic cosine of x. So this is sine or hyperbolic sine of x. Then minus we have uh, for the secant, hyperbolic secant, so derivative of hyperbolic secant of x, so this is negative. So we have negative hyperbolic secant of x times hyperbolic tangent of x. Okay? So f prime of x is equal to hyperbolic cosine of x plus twice the hyperbolic sine of x then minus minus so that becomes plus hyperbolic second of x times hyperbolic tangent of x okay so this is our final answer all right so for me to easily upload this result so i will uh, just stop up to this part class and i will make another video for the next example example number four thank you very much see you again in the next video bye